There we go. That's a good one. Yes. Yes. Stay on, bud. Oh, gosh. This is a good one. Yes. Come on. Stay on. Stay on. Holy crap. What is going on guys? And welcome back to another episode of the US of Angling. If you are new here, my name's Cameron and I travel around the US in a travel trailer with my wife, JC, and I get a fish everywhere I go. Today, we're in Colorado and behind me is the Arkansas River. I'm about 20 miles from home or from my camper. I drove down this highway that runs along the Arkansas River, trying not to stop. It was very hard, but I didn't. So I've got 20 miles to drive back to the camper and I plan on hitting spots. There's a bunch of pull-offs just like this. Most of them have big drop-offs like this or got to hike down to the river, but hopefully it's going to be worth it. This spot, it looks like it's actually pretty deep. I fished the Arkansas a number of times and I've only caught a couple fish. I went to Ark Anglers Fly Shop in Buena Vista and the guy there, I'm pretty sure it was the owner. I wish I would have got his name but he hooked me up with some flies. I feel pretty darn good about it. Let's go catch something. All right. You guys are probably wondering why I just mentioned flies and I'm holding a spinning reel. I like to cheat and use a spinning reel. All I do, I'll stop here and show you. All I do is just throw on one of these weighted, whoa, weighted bobbers it allows you to put some flies just like this this is what i'm using today but it allows you to throw on some flies i've got a bigger one there and then about i don't know three feet down i've got this tiny 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 little guy just a little olive and gold color but it allows you to be able to cast these flies just like you would if you were fly fishing this area is super windy it was earlier today. It seems to have died down a little bit, but I'm new to fly fishing and fly fishing in wind can be very difficult. So I'm just busting out the, the combo today, the spinning combo, and hopefully these flies that this guy recommended me can do the trick. There's definitely some good depth here. I like this a lot good depth and it's not flowing a million miles an hour okay we're just gonna whip one right up into that quicker stuff and let it float down to us try and keep the line tight keeping your line tight is key to being able to feel that bite that bobber shoots down a lot quicker too when your line's tight when those trout hit it. Come on. I'm not gonna let it float too far down. All right, come on, trout. There's gotta be a big one sitting in here. Got, got one, yep, got one. Right, oh. Oh, he came off. That was right away. That was second cast. He came off though. Darn it. I felt him hit though. You could feel it in the rod and obviously the bobber went under too, but dang it. Second cast, which is ideal. Not the first cast curse. He was on for a second. See if there's another one sitting right in that same spot. So yeah, I'm just using these tiny little midges. I've been out here a few different times throwing Panther Martins and one of my personal, oh, one of my personal favorites, uh, Pistol Pete. It's a little fly with a spinner on it. I've used it on my channel before, but it just doesn't seem to want to do the trick. The guy recommended these really tiny, they're like number 20 or maybe even number 22 midges. And then I'm using a bigger one, like a 14 or 16 maybe above it just to get it down a little bit. But we've already got a bite and that was right away, which is much better than I've been doing. A trout just surfaced on the top right there on next to my line. Come on. 
Got him. Tiny little guy. Tiny, 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 tiny little guy. Holy cow, this one's a little. <laughs> oh my goodness. He hit the bigger one too. He hit the top. He hit the top fly. Got my hands wet. Let's pop this out of his beak. Pick him up for just a second. Look at this tiny little thing. That is probably the smallest trout. I think this is the smallest trout I've ever caught in my life. Well, it's a start. We've had one on and landed one. That's great news. Let's whip it back up there. See if there's not any more. There's actually two reasons I'm not using a fly rod. The main reason is I don't have waders. I've got these boots on and I can't get out into the river to get away from all this vegetation and stuff on the edge and I would just get tangled up a hundred times over. It would just be a disaster if I tried to fly fish. So I'm cheating. And hopefully by the end of this video, you're convinced that you can come out here with a weighted bobber and some flies and a spinning combo and fly fish as well. Because fly fishing is not cheap to get into. It definitely costs a little bit of coin. You can have all the gear in the world for regular, you know, spin fishing. And none of that translate or none of that goes to fly fishing. You gotta buy all new stuff. All right, let's move down a little bit. We popped off one dinker in here. Could have been worse. We're, whoa, we're gonna come down this way. Try and find another little hole. That hit the bobber. That came up and hit my bobber. You're not supposed to hit the bobber. You're supposed to hit the flies under the bobber, dum dum. What the heck? <laughs> Weird. I wasn't expecting him to be hitting the top of the water right now. There we go. That's a good one. Yes. Yes. Stay on, bud. Oh, gosh. This is a good one. Yes. Come on. Stay on. Stay on. Holy crap. This is a big fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, stay on. Stay on. Holy crap. What is this? This is a good one. Oh my gosh. Stay on. Stay on. This is a good brown. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, stay here. Yes. All right, that's a good one. Fly just popped out once he's in the net. That is a nice freaking brown trout. All right, check him out. The camera's probably all messed up. Holy cow. Holy cow. That is the biggest brown I've ever caught. I wish I had a tape measure, but I don't. All right. Let's, I'm gonna pick him up for a second. He's all beat up. That's kind of weird. Hang on, buddy. Check him out. How gorgeous. I don't know what all that crap is all over him. That's a nice fish. That's the biggest one I've caught by a long shot out of the Arkansas so far. Let's get him back in the net for a second. Yes. That's the one that I've been looking for. Sick. <laughs> all right. We're gonna let him hang out in the net for just a second and then we're gonna get a release on him. That fish makes my day for sure. I, now I can't think. I'll have to go back and rewatch. I don't know if he hit the big midge or the small one. I'm not sure. All right, he, he's ready. Let's let this fish go. Oh my gosh, how sick. I wonder what all that stuff is up on the top of him. I don't know. That was amazing. That fish right there. He came out from behind that rock. I had made a few casts in there to him and he's going right back to it, it looks like. 
I'm gonna walk back up to the truck that's right there, grab a drink of water and drive back up the road and see if we can't find another spot that'll give us another big brown trout. Hey guys, this could be what we're looking for. I've seen some fish in here, but now that I kind of scan the area, this is one big pool right here. So we're gonna head to the top of it, up by these ripples, rapids, ripples, whatever the heck you wanna call them. And maybe there's some active trout up in here. We're looking for oxygen, we're looking for food. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to see either one in the water, but we can imagine where they are. We're starting to run out of daylight. The days are so dang short. I didn't give myself enough time. I mean, I guess technically I did. I caught one really nice one, but I wish I could be out here all day. Okay, there's a little bit of depth here. Not a ton. Is there enough? Yeah, there's, there should be enough. There should be. Let's whip one up in there. Got one. Got one, got one, got one. All right. I kind of waited a little bit too long for him. It was, he had it for a second. Nice brown. Beautiful. Beautiful. Come on. Stay on there, buddy. Come on. All right. All right. My bobber stopped and went under and, man, sometimes it just doesn't feel like it's a fish or look like it's a fish, but it is. And it hit this tiny little guy just this little dinky oh yeah and that was in the right in the tip of the nose too he came on this look at this thing look at the size hopefully you guys can see that if it's in focus but just a tiny tiny is there a knot in my line there's a knot in my line i'm gonna retie that can't believe he stayed on there good thing he did all right let's get my hand wet check him out guys just another gorgeous brown. All right. We're going to let him go. Sweet. That one wasn't tiny. What is tiny? Is this fly? I just heard a fish jump out there. And this knot. I'm going to switch this out. Yep. See? It broke right at that knot. All right, guys. This just might be my last spot. There's this area right here that looks deep. And then there's a huge pool on the back side here. So I'm going to throw up here first. And then there's got to be. You guys probably can't see it. You can see the start of it right there. And then it opens up into a big pool. On my last fish, I noticed that I had a knot in my line. So I retied. So I rather than that olive i've actually got this little purple one and then i've got that same bigger midge on the top okay there's definitely some depth here come on this is all kind of swirling around i don't know exactly what it's going to do come on here fishy fishy Here, fishy, fishy. Got, oh, yes, got one. Nice one. Yes. First cast. First cast. Oh, my gosh. This is another nice one. First cast in this spot. Come on. Come on. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, my gosh. First. Yes. Yes. First freaking cast. He hit the bigger, he hit the big midge on the top. You've gotta be kidding me. First cast in this spot. Let me get my hands wet. Come here, bud. Oh my gosh. That is so sick. Okay, let's pop this out. Pop that out. Oh my goodness. 
I'm gonna pick him up. Oh, I just got my sleeve wet. Thanks, bud. Check him out. All right. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Not the best release in the world, but he is just fine. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap up this video. The sun is just starting to set, and JC called me, she's getting hungry, and I've still gotta make a grocery run. So, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button, and if you wanna see a ton more fishing, not just for trout, for all species of fish, make sure to subscribe. I've only got about a week left here in Colorado, and then we are headed somewhere new, and it will be a whole new style of fishing, something that I am used to. Thanks again, guys. Get out there and catch something.